the page, the letterhead is office of the governor, correct? The letterhead for all the offices in my office have office of the governor, not this one specifically. No problem, but this one specifically is office of the governor. Yes. Is the county secretary... Council, sorry to interrupt. Thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, alert all parties of the timelines that we are going to follow and we are going to strictly adhere to this. Uh, the cross-examination will end at 7.10 without any extra minute. The re-examination will start from 7.10 to 7.30. Uh, the clarification by senators will start from 7.30 to 7.50. And then we'll have the closing statement on behalf of the county assembly for 60 minutes from 7.50 to 8.50. Then we will have the closing statement on behalf of the government for 60 minutes uh, from 8.50 to 9.50. And then from 9.50 to 10, we will have an in-camera in session. And uh, the Senate will then have a debate on the motion and division between 10 and 11.50 p.m. So this is to alert you to just bear that in mind. Thank you. Very well, Very well Madam Speaker. We are guided accordingly. So, Governor, back to my question. A specific letter on page 295 is issued in the letter, in the letter of the Office of the Governor. And we have agreed that the Governor, as a, the Governor is appointing authority for Chief Officers, correct? Mm -hmm. Is the county secretary a st staff in the, the, in the office of the governor? The county secretary? Yes. And the public? No. Is the, the county staff secretary? Staff in the county government of Meru. Staff in the county government of Meru. Yes. You will agree with me that the county secretary is the head of public service yes. and is therefore not a staffer in the office of the governor. Yes. Correct? Yes. So, in as much as you might want to say that the county secretary was signing on your behalf, is not the county secretary is not a staffer in your office correct the county secretary has signed the letter for the governor though he is not a staffer in your office correct mm -hmm. governor turn with me to page 384 of our volume 2 Under paragraph 4, that is the response by the County Public Service Board to the Clerk of the County Assembly, you will agree with me that in that response, the County Public Service Board states, and I quote, the Board is the appointing authority according to Section 64 of the County Government Act. Not disputed. And the Board, however, was not involved in the appointment of the acting chief officers as per the act. You agree with me? At least that is apparent on the face of the document, correct? Maybe. You agree? I'm not the one that was writing to them. Oh, but you agree that is what the board says, Governor? That is yes, obvious. according to the letter. Okay. So the board, the County Public Service Board, actually dissolves your appointment and says that the appointment of the 17 chief officers whom you, whom you have appointed on the 23rd of August, most of whom are in acting capacity, was done without its involvement. Correct? And to me, the board, the role of so the board... So no question, Governor, so that we move. And so the role of the board is to give advisory to the end of county public service. But the role of the board is to give, is to recommend for appointment to you so that you appoint. The powers reside in you, not the county secretary. We agree on that, Governor. Mm -hmm. So, and the board disowns those appointments and says that you did not consult the board in making the appointments. You specifically, because you are the appointing authority. And I specifically did not appoint any person. I think. Madam Speaker, we are constrained to seek your direction because we believe the rules of cross-examination 
is that a witness answers questions, they don't tell stories. And the reason we seek your direction and perhaps invocation of 